Hello, and welcome back to English 101. All right, so this is your final exam. Um, this is your final thing that you have to do. This is the self-assessment. All right, and really this is all about you. It's a celebration of you. You get to say I, 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 me, my, we, our, us, all the time. All right, so you get to use your first person voice again. Um, and what I'm asking you to do is write a letter. All right, it has to be a letter, dear Alexandra. All right. So you're writing a letter to me evaluating how well you met your stated goals at the beginning of the semester. That means you have to go back to your me as a writer, the thing, the very first thing that you wrote for me at the very, very beginning, right? How well did you meet those goals? I asked you at the, in that assignment to list three goals that you had for yourself this semester, right? And now you are revisiting that and how well did you do that? Did you get? Did you meet your goals? Did you not meet your goals? Did you meet your goals, but sort of, but not as well as you'd hoped? Um, that kind of thing. Um, this is about your learning, not about my teaching. A lot of times, students are like, "This is the time to suck up to the teacher." That is not what I want. I know how good I am. What I want to know is how good you are, right? What I want to know is how good do you think you are? Did what did you learn? A lot of the time te in teaching, students learn things that isn't what we thought they were, we were teaching, right? Um, and so what I'm interested in is, did you learn what I thought I taught you, all right? This is about you. So you're going to begin by reflecting your personal goals. You're going to look at the me as a writer, see what your goals were at the beginning of the semester, reflect on how well you met those, right? What did you do well? What didn't you do well? Um, what, you know just sort of look at those goals. Did you meet them? Yes or no? How well on a scale of one to 10, All right? The next thing you're going to do is look at the five objectives of the class. So that's audience, purpose, process, correctness, and support. You saw that on all your major papers, All right? It was on the syllabus. It is everything that I am trying to teach you in this class. This is the stuff that I think I'm trying to teach you. And now I'm asking, did you learn what I thought I taught you? All right, so how well did you meet those goals? And how, what work do you have that proves that you have an entire body work of work? Now you've got 16 weeks worth of work to demonstrate that you know how to write to an audience, all right, to a specific audience. You know how to write for a specific purpose. You know about the writing process, and here's evidence of doing that. All right, you know more about correctness. Here's evidence of that. All right, you know more about support, and here's evidence of that. All right, the evidence is the work that you have done. All right, it's sort of the proof. All right, so you can use specific examples from your essays, quizzes, homework, etc. Anything you've done counts as proof that you learned what I thought I taught you. All right, and then lastly, the right, thing I want, what are your goals for next semester? All right, so you finish this semester. Hooray! It's finally over. All right, now what? What, you know, what, what do you want to do next time? All right, how do you want to build on what you learned in the future? All right, so those are the three things you have to accomplish. You know, how, you know, how did you do at the beginning? Compared to the beginning, where are you now? How well did you do the things that we learned in class? What are you going to do in the future? All of that in one page, single spaced. And I know all of you are like clutching your pearls going, oh my God, how could this be happening to me? It is one page, one page only. Yes. I will dock points off if it goes over a page. Yes, points will be lost if it is significantly shorter than a page. It is the full page, not just three quarters of a page. It has to be the full page, right to the very, very bottom. All right? Should be written in the first person. Should be carefully edited. So I'm looking for this to be, you know, no grammar, no punctuational, no mechanical errors. This should be in standard, well-written English, all right? You've been practicing this all semester long. Here is your opportunity in your final to prove your worthiness and how great you are, all right? So do all the things, all right? Meets these general education goals, meets these course outcomes, all right? As always, um, I am happy to answer your questions. Uh, you will notice, as I keep going to the bottom, there is no rubric. There's a reason for that. In case you want to know what the reason is, um, 
part of you'll notice in the semester that the semester was designed with a lot of scaffolding at the beginning, right? We did a lot of extra practice, um, things together in class. Um, we did reading strategies together. We did writing strategies together. And then as time went on, it was more and more individualistic, All right? So as you move into um, your other classes, you will notice there should be fewer and fewer scaffolds, fewer rubrics, fewer clear explanations of what we want, right? Because the teachers are sort of expecting you to be able to read the directions and read them as directions without us having to really specifically say, do this much, you know, with this few number of errors, do this without, you know, without having to tell you, we expect you to sort of figure it out and get it yourself, All right? And so the assignment is designed to sort of bridge you over to that. This is worth 50 points and or 5% of your grade. And at this point, 5% of your grade is not enough to absolutely kill you, but it's enough to hurt you and it's enough to help you. So if you're like hanging out at an 87%, 5% can solidify that B or 5% can knock you into the A category, All right? You, you know, you want to look at your grade and figure out, you know, how, how important is this 5% to you, All right? Because it may be really important to you. And as always, I encourage you to do the best you can all the time, All right? But I recognize that, boy, at the end of the semester, you just toaster strudel, right? And you've got other classes besides mine, it turns out, which, you know, it's just crazy to me. You're my only students. So uh, I'm not your only teacher. I'm just heartbroken. Uh, so I understand that you have a bunch of different things going on and you have to figure out where you're going to put your time. All right. But if you are sitting on the cusp between an A and a B or between a B and a C, that 5% can indeed very much move you over into the higher score and or knock you into the lower score. So be aware. All right. And um, that's, I guess, pretty much it. Email me if you have questions. I'm happy to help. Talk to you later. Bye.